Hey everyone, Merrick here, and we're back in Towncraft. Um, had a couple of crashes trying to start this episode, a little frustrating. But, you know, we're here. It is what it is. So let's see what we can do. Now, we want to see if we can't make a little bit of money and start building out our farms. I've been told that I want to make sure I have a good stockpile of things and that I need to be wary of mining out my minerals. Now I want to make sure that when I do find precious minerals that I don't go out and screw those up by accidentally I guess it'd be accidentally mining them out and then I'm, I'm done I can't mine those anymore however in the meantime we are going to try to do some planting and I think we should find a good place for a farm I think over here would be a good place to start a farm right in this area so let's see I can plant right there there's gonna be a grape farm hello grape farm my name is Merrick and I have made you and now I trot upon you I don't like that I skipped a spot because I was standing there that doesn't make me happy that's gonna be a tater farm yay taters alright and then apple trees ooh there's hops I didn't realize I even had hops that's kind of awesome so for now it's just gonna be this ghetto farm that we've put up I would like to, of course, build a much more official farm. Something that's a lot more organized, like we had in Forsaken Isle. So we will want to figure that out in a little while. But for now, this will do. Let's knock these trees down so I can see. Yes, I'm cutting trees down just so I can see. You're obstructing my view. Now get out of the way. Perfect. Look at those creepy people rubbing heads. Hey, you do your head rubbing somewhere else. You want to be a farmer? Uh-huh. Yep. I don't want you to be a lumberjack. I don't want you to do anything. Get out. <laughs> I'll farm on my own. I don't know how to farm. Shut up, brain. We'll figure it out. Give me a couple of those. Okay, so let's go inside and go to the craft table. No, 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 no. I, clicking on the craft table, thank you. So I don't have that. Um, I don't want that. I want to see if there's a way to build like a cotton mill or gin. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's check the craftopedia. Wait, what's that? Oh! Look at all these recipes! Ooh! Blouse, boots, bowels, bouquet. Oh, these are kind of cool. I wish I could scroll through that much faster. Oh, there we go. We can just click and drag. Door, doorknob, door. What, what are you looking at? I want a fishing pole. I don't know that recipe. Well, no shit. Okay. So if I click on that, it will tell me that, but then gets rid of the... Thing, so that kind of sucks and I can manage my people in that screen beautiful I can look at all my money I like money and I could build a hovel what's that it hovel okay well that's that is certainly something. Let's see what we can do with... Hmm. I want more cotton. That's what I want. 
I want to see if I can figure out how to manufacture cotton, which will then give me... Can I not get through there? You know what, tree, get out of my way. Because the pathfinding is atrocious. So I can use cotton to make string, which will then give me the ability to get eggs. Not sure why I just switched to getting eggs, but there we go. Which will allow me the ability to continue building things, like a fishing pole. And then I can hire a fisherman. This game does not enjoy my frantic clicking. I like frantic clicking. You better like it too, game. I could plant cotton. Of course I could plant cotton. I was told I could plant just about every plant in this game. Well, every plant that's harvestable, I should say. Alright, let's go in here. So I have 10 cotton. What can 10 cotton and a stick do with a sharp stone? I do wish it notified you when you found a new recipe. Like you had the, the supplies for a new recipe, sort of like it did in Forsaken Isle. That would be nice. Because you kind of just don't know. Right, canary eggs and an apple. Nope. Oh! I've cooked some canary eggs. Wait. Can I... Can I have those? Oh, there we go. Click and drag. Currently in use. Oh, they're not done yet. Oh, it has a little cook time. Okay. Fantastic. I still don't see that I need to eat, so... Yeah, there is that, but we learned it. And it is a start. And I like to start things. Alright, let's see. What else can we do? We can get a few more of those. A bunch of those. And I want to do fences. So I need... I don't know what that is. Are this is that metal? I think that's metal. Hmm. Okay. It's a wall. Waddle and double, now you're talking everything the modern style of the building. Now we're talking stone buildings. I don't want stone buildings. You know what I want? I want something else. I need a bucket. How do I build a bucket? Okay. It's a mine shaft. That's what I need to put on precious minerals. Fantastic. And that's the store, and that's not the button to do that. I keep wanting to hit escape to exit um, the build screen, or the, the menu, and it just brings up the, the escape menu. What is that? Is that mushrooms? Did I just find mushrooms? Mushrooms. Turnips! It's like mushrooms don't have green tops. What the hell are those? They are turnips. Awesome. Okay. So, again, the navigation is just a big pain in the dick because I've been trying to get over here and I didn't realize that he couldn't fit through these trees, so I wasn't actually getting anywhere, and that's really annoying. So we want to have at least 20 of everything for crafting purposes. And what does it take to build a mine shaft? That is not... Ha! I keep doing that. That is... A mine shaft needs... Uh, looks like a lamp, timber, and a pick. Mine shaft should be placed adjacent to valuable minerals you wish to keep a constant supply of. Fantastic. Well, I would like to keep a constant supply of all valuable minerals. There's going to be a lot of mine shafts over here, because look at all these. That's kind of cool. Alright, we've got a bunch of silver, we've got a bunch of stone, and now we have a bunch of iron. Ooh, iron. Iron is good. Iron should give us things. So let's head back over here. You know what, just figure it out. 
Ah. All right, so just future note, fellow game developers, grid-based navigation in a game like this, not a fan. Not a fan. Ah, cook turnips. Oh, it takes 12 turnips to cook them. All right, well, hey, at least I know that now. Okay, we got that. Why would I do a hatchet? Hmm. See, I think I need like a furnace of some sort. Is there a smelting furnace? Craftopedia! Tell me the answer. Melted gold, eh? Oh, I like the sound of melted gold. I like gold. Iron tool bits. That's what I need for the well. So I don't know how to make iron tool bits. Let's see, that's a logging bench. I have that. I need a loom. So I'm thinking... I gotta think about the parts of a loom that I need. There's necklaces. Nobody cares about necklaces right now. There's pizza, mashed potatoes. Mmm. Alright, there's a stone oven, which I could have swore I built because there's one in that room, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. A passable stew. Um, I did not see anything for metalworking. Unless I passed it up in my exuberant clicking and dragging. Could have happened. This is a nice iron pickaxe. That could be useful. Iron sheet, iron toolbox, iron stove. Furnace. I, of course I don't know that recipe. Uh, what was I thinking? Alright, let's try this. We'll get a few more of those. Wait, why did they show up there? I'm not sure why they showed up there. Alright, let's go in here. Let's take some stone. Some of that. That gives me the stone oven. Hmm. Alright, stone oven. Recipe unknown to me. Okay, well, we'll build another one. Alright, so I have a stone oven. Fantastic. That doesn't do me much good, friend. Alright, let's put a stone oven down. I think it has to be placed indoors. Um... You know what, you're going into the other house, because reasons. You go there. Yes, yeah, see, I knew I had one of these. Now I have two, and it said I didn't know the recipe. You lied to me, you jerk! Ah, shit. That makes me unhappy. Let's, um... I don't want to put anything in there. I'm really angry right now. Ooh, our harvest is coming in nicely, though. Alright, give me some more of those. Some more of those. Not really sure what they're useful for, but hey, I'll have them in hand. Alright. Don't walk to there. So if I do that, and that, that doesn't give me anything. Iron and that gives me nothing. Iron sticks gives me nothing. That gives me nothing. I didn't expect any of that to actually give me anything because I mean I know the stone oven, but I don't know what I would need if what I would do for forging unless unless that goddamn tree get out of the way. If I come over here and I drag a, a piece of wood. I can't bridge? Oh, I can I can bridge things. Ooh, neat. K 
Can I? It won't let me burn a piece of that. Do I have any coal? I might need coal to build that, which is okay if I can find some. Do I have coal? Iron, silver, no coal yet. But there's a rock with black bits on it, and that could be coal. Alright, cut that down. Okay, was that coal? Coal, coal, coal. That was. Beautiful. Now I should be able to build the forge, which should allow me to do more things. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, coal? Wood? Stone? Oh, come on. Is that... Is that the furnace? I think that's the furnace. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... I would like to take you out of here, thank you. Alright, so let's put this down. Okay, well that sucks because I just made that inaccessible, but that's okay because now I can do stuff. Look at that. Tool bits. Yay. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to make a well, I think. I keep hitting escape. Alright, developers, if you're listening, I would like the ability to be able to hit escape without having to worry about... Or to close the the menu screens, because it's it's really inconvenient to have the pause menu pop up and, and whenever you try to do that. Don't go to the tree, damn you! A wooden a wooden counter, okay. So if, what if I do this? Just tell me what gives me a bucket. Oh, that gives me a spear. That's that's kind of nice, actually. Okay, um, let me switch over to the forge. No, stop it. Go to the forge. I don't want to make a spear because it's useless right now, but let's put the iron in there. We're going to use a whole bunch of our iron up, but I think, I think, I may be able to make, like, some iron tools. Okay, so now I have iron sheet, which gives me a ring. I don't want a ring. That gives me a shovel. I like shovels. Shovels are useful. Um, ooh, that gives me iron heads, which means I should be able to make an iron pickaxe. Hey, hey, that's nice. Hmm, lots of progress with just getting that. Would like to know how I'm going to build a bucket, though. Not sure why bucket technology is what's eluding me right now. Uh, but it is. I, don't, I didn't mean to put coal in there. Um, iron cutlery, which I'm not going to be building right now. Alright, so a lot of good progress just on discovering iron and coal and getting all that put together. So I'm excited about that. What, what can silver do? It can make me so it can make me stuff to sell basically, which is great. We will definitely do that. In fact, I have a quest for a bunch of silver mugs. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let me see here. He wants twelve silver mugs. Carry on, my friend. 
One, let's see, two, three. Fuel exhausted, well shit. Oh, there's a train, I will be right back. Alright, train seems to be gone, that was a short one. So let's get back to work. I went ahead and harvest the garden. So I need more coal in order to finish his order of mugs. Which I don't know that I'm going to finish that yet, actually, because I don't really want to progress things just yet. So let's go ahead and plop some things over there. Let's put these over there. Put the grapes over there. And the taters. I don't want that over there. And I don't really want the wood over there right now. Okay, so little bit of progress going to start looking to have well he just wants to punch some trees gonna start looking to have employees I think in the next episode and I'm going to look to change that farm up I think yeah I, I don't I don't like the way the farm is I don't like the way it looks and hopefully we can take it down and change it and if we can't well that's gonna kinda suck let's see if we can do that now cuz I don't want just permanent plots of bleh there you know what I mean so can I oh I can't destroy it okay fine that's fine um, I'll probably wind up doing like a, a grape vineyard here and then like an apple orchard somewhere and a, a potato patch and you know just I'll probably make most of this farmland and then over in this region where all these rocks are I'll make that like mineral country and then we'll go from there but that is going to be in the future episodes for now we're just going to keep trying to figure some of this stuff out mm, can I touch that I cannot. Right, can I build a bridge? It said something about bridging. I built a bridge! Hooray! Now I can get at this tree that's been eyeballing me. I don't like it when trees eyeball me. Ooh, there's some cabbage. Hmm, there's some hidden fruits in there. Not actual fruit, mind you. Well, actually, there are grapes in there. Never mind, there are fruits in there. Oh, there are mushrooms. Can we pick up the mushrooms? No. Alright, let's grab this cotton. Grab these turnips. Oh, look. Honey. I wonder if bees can attack you. Nope. <laughs> your home is mine, and then I destroyed your tree. Because clicking. Yeah, we're going to have to have lots of gardening space. But that's okay. I have a shovel now. I need a bucket to use that. Well, shit, I don't know how to build a bucket. Bucket tech is very, very confusing to my primitive brain. I don't like you confusing me. So I gotta, I'm gonna go away. You just stay there, confusing bucket lady. Man thing. For a mobile game, this map is actually really large. There we go. Got some grapes. Those are good for pizza. Okay. You know, it's, it's better to make jokes when people are actually there to laugh at them. But that's okay. Come over here. Knock that down. Knock it down. Yeah. Give me that wheat. Yeah! Get in the wheat! What? Alright, let's test something out. I'm just going to click and hold. Hey, no. <sighs> Pathfinding. Because it couldn't go diagonally through the crack. It has to do this to get there. Okay, click and hold. No. You have to click multiple times. Yeah, that's... That's lovely. Okay, so we've got some more coal. Not going to finish the cup quest just yet. But we've ref refilled that. 
So we can make a few things. So we can make iron bands. Hey, we might need that for buckets. I didn't even think about that. But iron bands are on buckets. Uh, that and planks. And that's that's a barrel. That's not a bucket. That's a shield. That's still not a bucket. That's a bucket. Ha! Yeah, I know. I need more sticks. Can't make sticks out of that. That's okay. Cause I made a bucket. Ooh, can I build a town well now? I can. A constant source of fresh water. Where can I build it? Um, I'm not seeing an indicator of where I could build it. Well, I have a bucket, so we're going to use it on that then. Do I, did I just get like a bucket of sand? <laughs> Wait. Why? Ooh, maybe glass. Hey. Furnace. No. No. Stupid. Go in there and touch that. Bucket of sand. Made a glass mug. <laughs> hey, and it didn't use the bucket up. That's kind of cool. Um, We're going to put that mug right in here, and we're going to sell that shit later. All right, I like the progress we have made. This is this is getting more and more fun as we get closer or further and further into this. So, yeah, this this series is definitely going to continue until at least I explore everything, or until you know the controls just you know make me delete it. Hopefully that won't happen because it's a fun little game. All right, with that, we're going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you have any tips or comments, leave those in the comments section below. And if you would like to subscribe and you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. I'd love to have you hang around. All that being said, I'll see you next time.